Now it's called the history recall brush, but it can project from any point of history from any subtool to any other subtool. It's actually really, really powerful. Uh, for example, if we take this head and we just clone it off. So now we have two versions of our head. And just to make this a little bit more obvious, we have head over here. And for head one, I'm gonna rename this to head crazy. And uh, let's just go nuts on this thing. So again, just using our brushes, our Damien standard, our standard brush, our clay brush. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off Sculptors Pro while we're working. I'm just gonna go ahead and make uh, some fairly severe modifications to this thing. So we got a little bit of a Mr. Mixelplex thing going on here. So we have this head right here. And in fact, for this head, we can revert back to our original uh, anime head. And how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go with the head crazy. I'm gonna go all the way back to, uh, you know what, let's just go back to where, you know, he was just kind of kind of soft. I'm gonna hold down control and tap. That's gonna remark this history. I can go back to this head, go back here. And we have subdivision history, but because I have Dynamesh still on, I can control drag and get rid of that. And it'll just uh, re dynamesh my geometry. And then again, back up under here, I can go to project history. And it's going to project from the history on this completely other subtool. Now, it, it kind of missed a little bit of this here. So we can actually go to B H R to history recall brush. And we can just use a history recall if I do turn off X. I can use a history recall brush to just kind of do a little bit of cleanup work. Turn X back on. So now, again, two completely different subtools. And if we go back to this one, this one has all the history. Uh, I didn't need to stay on that. I can hit hold down, I held down control and click that to set the history point, but I can go back and I have all my undos back. So I can go back to this clean head, again, BHR, history recall brush, and I can grab, I turn off X to go out of X symmetry. I can go through here, and if I mark this now, control tap this point in history, I can go back to this other subtool, and I can just go through and start grabbing history from here. Now, uh, if I turn on X symmetry and I start grabbing, it's going to tell you you can't use it. And again, I, I promised I was going to show you why. But if you wanted to, uh, just to kind of finish this thought, if you go through here, you can actually grab different parts from different models you have. In fact, let's go up here to Load Tool. I'm going to grab just a random head I have in here. I'm going to hold down Shift and turn off all the eyeballs so we just have this head. Now, I do want to make sure that this head right here is in the same space. So if I go to head crazy here and we append that commander head, uh, it's not too terrible, but I can select that commander head here. We're going to transparent. I'm going to hit W to go into gizmo mode. I'm going to go to unmash mesh center, turn off X symmetry, tap by tapping X, go to unmash mesh center, and then turn X back on. And now I can let's turn off perspective here. So when I kind of match, let's say I wanted to uh, project these eyeballs. I don't have eyeballs on this guy. So I'm going to steal his eyeballs. Now, of course, if you're using human scan data, this is kind of going from a cartoon to a stylized, uh, monstrous human type dude. So, you know, it's not probably going to work that great. Uh, but again, I can just hold down control and tap that point on the commander. If I go out of transparency mode, you see this is the what I'm storing in memory. I can go to this head that I'm stealing parts from. And then again, using that history recall brush, I can go through and just grab the eyeballs uh, off of this guy. I'll go ahead and just do a quick mirror and weld, turn on X symmetry and then hold down shift and I can kind of smooth. That <laughs> actually worked better than I thought it was going to. Again, uh, if we wanted to grab more detail, BHR history recall brush, you can grab uh, the Sculptures Pro and you can, oops, turn off X symmetry. And as the smaller you make that brush, the more detail you're gonna grab. So if I make this brush really small, we'll grab even some of that poor detail or you can subdivide uh, your model. So again, we'll do another quick mirror, mirror and weld. Uh, hit X to go back into X symmetry here, turn off Sculptures Pro. And we'll go ahead and smooth these transitions out a little bit. I'll re mesh here. And we'll go through and kind of integrate these a little bit better. There we go. Beautiful. 